welcome back to my channel today we are going to be reviewing this 2025 honda civic now when we come on to the front end we can see this black grille with the honda logo up in the center and now when we come on to the side we have these all led headlamps with the led turn indicators those look pretty nice on the car and then we have the front bumper up there with the blacked out skid plate and a nice design and now when we come onto the side we see this blacked out alloy wheels and so we have 18 inch tires up at the front and over on the rear and now let me take a couple steps back and as you can see this is the whole side profile for the 2025 civic and on the side we have these blacked out mirror caps that look good with the gorgeous white paint nice cuts and curves and then it gets blind spot monitoring as well yeah and the honda now when, when we, we come onto the back end we have this honda logo over here the sport badging and the civic badging and, and then we have these tail lamps that look good those are led with the turn indicator backlight and that's how the rear looks with the bottom bumper and now when we come on to the side we see we have this hard plastic over here hard plastic hard plastic and then a little bit softer and then we have this good cloth trim over here storage space power window controls a cup holder these gorgeous chrome door handles a speaker and when we come onto the seats we can see we have these cloth seats that are black in color and they look pretty good for a sedan and that's now let's pop into the back so yeah the amount of under thigh support is good as and then can, you see as you can see we as you can see we have decent amount of headroom for me being 5'8 five, five and a good amount of leg room and then there are no ac vents no usb ports up at the back it's empty and then this is how the side so yeah as you can see under the hood we have a naturally aspirated 2 liter 4 cylinder that produces 31 miles per gallon in the city and 39 miles per gallon on the highway and it goes through a CVT automatic transmission and now let's pop up the front as you can see we have this hard plastic hard plastic we have this soft touch over here and then we have the cloth trim cloth trim up here that soft touch storage space down there with the bottle holders little storage space and then power window controls with automatic windows for both the driver and passenger child lock lock and lock controls to adjust the mirrors and as you can see chrome door handles and now when we come on inside see this is the leather wrapped steering wheel gloss black section over here it's a three spoke steering wheel and this has some buttons on the steering wheel like the volume up down button the lane center we have the lane assist button steering on the highway the adaptive cruise control buttons and yeah we do have paddle shifters in this so yeah, it's the sport model so we have paddle shifters and then we have traction control off over here the headlight leveler and then i do like the style of these ac vents those are pretty sick and we can close this up and see the cool honda animation as soon as i close the door and yeah we have this gorgeous cool looking ac vents then we have the dash we have a little bit of soft touch up here on the dash but mostly hard plastic and yeah and now when we come on to the center we have this seven inch touch screen now you guys might be wondering that it's a 2025 model but yeah unfortunately it still has a seven inch touch screen i know it's reliable honda cars are usually a lot are a lot reliable and its engine lasts a long time but uh, they need to up their game a little bit with the tech that they give this is a seven inch touch screen and then we have these cool looking ac vents over here and then we have this physical controls for the air conditioner unit we have the internal circulation front defogger rear defogger to turn on the air conditioner and the start stop button is over here let's start her up as you start this up you can see we have a as you have a we have an analog speedometer but we have like a small digital screen in the between that shows the 
speed it's at so it shows the speed digitally and a little bit of the elements digitally but otherwise it's analog and then as you can see we have traditional stocks for the indicator headlamps and traditional stock for the wipers and then as you can see we have this headliner black in color that looks good these are our sun visors with the mirror and up here at the front over here we have the manual irvm the device is okay okay they are mostly like physical controls it's less of a touch screen i would say and then over here as you can see we have like digital screens in there but we do have a usb a and a usb c port over here with a 12 volt charging socket and as you can see we do have a cvt gear shifter over here with park reverse neutral drive and then we have the drive mode select over here we have the econ mode which is for economy and then we have the econ mode normal mode sport mode econ mode will have the most fuel efficiency and then this is to switch off the auto start stop and then we have an electronic parking brake we have the brake hold function and yeah it's a cute cvt automatic gear shifter and then we have this armrest center armrest over here and the center console looks pretty good with the armrest and it's a soft touch now we open this we have good amount of storage down there and now when we come onto the side you see this a giant AC vent going all the way over there that design is iconic and then this is our glove box and as you can see pretty decent pretty decent size storage space in our glove box we engage it in reverse and put the reverse camera you can see this is the clarity for the reverse camera I would say it's pretty clear looking from this I don't know how much you can understand in the camera it's pretty clear but when I move the steering wheel, you can see the trajectory lines move with the steering. That's quite helpful while backing up. And yeah, we do have different modes. We can look at the car from different angles with the back camera. And then one, this is the close up and this is the wide view. I would say the touch response time of the system is not that great. It's a little laggy and you have to I had to press this button twice for it to go move and then when we come down here as you can see since it's a sport like a civic sport we have a resting pedal over here but the accelerator and the brake pedals are made of aluminium or steel and so as you can see we have cup holders up here yeah two cup holders pretty nice these were the front seats these are also all black cloth seats but there's a white stripe in the center segment that looks pretty good the seats are quite comfortable but yeah it's manually adjustable it should give automatic adjustable seats but it's manually adjustable as you can see this is the key fob we have the honda logo up in the center and behind we have the lock we have the lock button unlock button boot opening remote start and the panic button or the volume button let me show you how the turn indicators look on it now let me yeah see th that's the led turn indicator looks pretty good and now let's check out the boot space in this you just press this button and the boot pops open and yeah as you can see it's a pretty practical sedan with a huge amount of trunk space and you can see on the side we have these mats kept here from the factory but then you can see it's a pretty massive and deep boot and then we have these pull tabs to lower down the second row you pull it and the second row seats go down for more amount of storage and we have a spare tire down in the boot and now when we come onto the side we see the sticker it says 2025 civic sport and then we have all these standard equipments and then since it's a white color so there's an extra charge 455 for that and then and then the total price before taxes and fees is twenty seven thousand eight hundred dollars so this civic cost twenty seven thousand and eight hundred dollars and if you're wondering it gets 31 miles per gallon in the city 39 miles per gallon on the highway and yes in features if you guys were wondering unfortunately there are no heated seats available in this variant so you would have to go up to a hybrid variant 
for the heated seats so yeah if you want heated seats you'll have to upgrade to the hybrid variant and let me know down in the comments if you want me to review the honda civic hybrid whenever they would have in stock or i'll get a chance i'll bring that review for you guys so you can see the difference between them so yeah unfortunately you have to upgrade to a hybrid if you want heated seats and let me even know down in the comments what is one feature in a car that you can't live without personally for me it's heated seats in the in the winters but yeah for the summers i know heated seats are not useful if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button every like subscribe share count so i can get more videos for you guys in the future thank you for watching